Dear All Saints parishioners, greetings, wishes, and prayers to all of you. Once again, it's a great joy to talk to you, to share my weekly reflections with you. And before I begin my weekly reflections this week, I would like to wish that I would like to pray for all of the dads, fathers in our community on this Father's Day, that the Lord will be with you to give you all of the blessings that you need and all of the good gifts that you seek to live your vocation as fathers with faith, with joy, with commitment to your family, to the society, and to the church. Uh, that's my prayer, that's my wish, and therefore, once again, Happy Father's Day to all the dads and all fathers in our community of all saints. And on this 12th Sunday of Ordinary Time, uh, we celebrated the Feast of the Holy Trinity. We celebrated the Feast of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Jesus Christ after the Pentecost Sunday. Now we enter into the ordinary times proper. And on this Sunday, the 12th Sunday in ordinary times, we will listen to the lamentation of Jeremiah. We hear Jeremiah, the prophet of God, lamenting over the hardships that he experiences as a result of his fidelity to the vocation that he received to be the prophet of God. And in the gospel, we will hear Jesus not once, but at least three times repeatedly inviting us, have no fear, do not be afraid. So I would like to really dwell on this Jeremiah experience today. What we read in the first reading of today, I call that as Jeremiah experience. What is the Jeremiah experience? In the first reading of today, we hear Jeremiah really talking about, I see people working against me. There is terror on all sides. And even my friends are watching for my missteps that I can be really trapped. They are trying to take vengeance on me. Uh, this is what is called lamentation. This is what I call the Jeremiah experience. And I invite you today to ask yourself, is this Jeremiah experience very strange? Is this Jeremiah experience unreal? For any of you, and especially I am encouraging the dads, the fathers, as we would be celebrating Father's Day this weekend, I encourage you to think about the Jeremiah experience that you have. And therefore you ask yourself, is it easy to be a good father? Is it easy to be a good dad, responsible dad in your family? Or I'm not just exclusively asking the dads today. The mothers can ask the same question. Is it easy to be a good mom today? Have you not experienced when you are trying to be a good mom, a good dad, many challenges in your life? And then you try to think, what am I doing here? Why am I trying to be a good mom, good dad? I could just be any dad, any mom, just let things happen. But you want, when you are trying to be faithful, to the vocation that you have, either to be a good dad 
are to be a good mom, are to be a good citizen in this times, for example. You can ask yourself, is it easy? Don't you have the Jeremiah experience? Don't you feel like I'm overwhelmed by so many things that happen? I'm not appreciated, I'm not accepted, it's not easy. There are a lot of costs associated with being a good dad, being a good mom, being a good citizen. That's what I call Jeremiah experience. We all have our own Jeremiah experience. But this reading that we will be reading on this Sunday is not just speaking about the Jeremiah experience, the frustration, the disappointment, the dismay, that we all go through, just like Jeremiah today, what we call lamentation. It's not just about the lamentations alone. Jeremiah express, expresses this deep faith in the Lord, that the Lord is like a mighty champion on my side. I think, dear brothers and sisters, that's what Jesus is inviting today in the gospel. Have no fear. Do not be afraid. What does Jesus say to us today by this reading? It's not just mere words of comfort and consolation uh, trying to tell us, don't worry, do, do not be afraid. It's all going to be okay. It's not what Jesus is saying today. What Jesus is saying today is when he says, do not be afraid, we know Jesus often talks about not to have fear, especially in the moments we know from the Bible when someone is really troubled, when someone is really confused, when someone really is afraid, when someone is really anxious about something, Jesus and God says the same thing. Do not be afraid. Just to give you two examples, which you all know. One, I would like to draw your attention to Mary. You all know the scene of Annunciation. When Angel Gabriel came to Mary and announced that she is going to be the mother of God, mother of Jesus, the first greeting that, she, that the angel utters to her, hail full of grace. What is the immediate response of Mary? We know from the Gospel of Luke, Mary was troubled at what this might mean, this greeting might mean. What does it mean when you say, hail full of grace, the Lord is with you? So when she is troubled, when she is confused, when she is even afraid, what does this might mean? Immediately the words from the angel is, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Do not be afraid. The second example that you all know is, once again, it's about Joseph. When Joseph, for the first time, knows that Mary is already pregnant with a child, he is really confused, and he is troubled. How can this be? And we are told that he is not able to sleep. And that's the reason why he is able to hear the voice of God in his dream, because he is not able to sleep. He's so much troubled. And then we hear in the Gospels, in the Gospel of Matthew, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid. You can go on and talk about so many instances where God comes to human beings when they are troubled, when they are confused, when they are afraid, to tell them, do not be afraid. Which is kind of no. Another way is to say, have faith in me, have hope in me. Therefore, as I said, it's not just a mere, 
and attempt to comfort someone with mere words. Rather, it's an invitation to enter into the life of hope and trust. Because it's true, in our human life, we are all troubled. We have our own lamentations to make, just like Jeremiah. I said, if you try to be a good mom, if you try to be a good dad, if you try to be a good citizen, Yes, you are faced with a lot of challenges, sometimes disappointments, sometimes you are dismayed, sometimes you are upset. But it's very important that we keep this spirit, what Jesus invites us to do. While we are disappointed, discouraged, while we are sometimes frustrated, as we try to be good mom, dad, and good citizen, it's good, equally important, that we make this act of faith in God and say, God, I trust in you. God, I place my hope in you. I think, dear brothers and sisters, doing repeatedly this act of faith, placing our hope and trust in God, is the sure way to stay above our frustrations our disappointments. I'm not saying that you will never be disappointed. I'm not saying that there will not be frustrations. If so, we could have easily said, oh, because Jeremiah was called by God, he was a prophet of God, he was chosen to speak on behalf of God, and therefore he should not have any problem. But precisely because he was called by God, precisely because he tries to be faithful to God, faithful to his vocation as a prophet, he is lamenting, he is frustrated, he sees all these opposition to him, he sees his friends even plotting against him. And therefore, it's precisely when you try to be a good, responsible person, a mom, a dad, and a good citizen, then you will be challenged. It's very hard. That's when you are so much frustrated. And therefore, we need to keep doing this, placing our hope and trust in God. And therefore, dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate Father's Day this weekend, I invite all of you to think about what is your vocation, and do you have the Jeremiah experience in your life? And when you have the Jeremiah experience, what do you do? The simple answer from the scriptures this week would be continue to renew your hope and trust in God. Continue to place your hope and trust in God. Continue to do this act of faith. And I encourage all of you to do it and have a wonderful weekend and have a wonderful Father's Day. May God bless you all.